Warren Point is a textbook example of what can happen when several key features coincide. Jim McCart's been associated with the growth of the town since the mid-60s, when the classic marriage of natural amenities and an obvious potential combined with a government willing to spend. Well, if you take the benefits to Warren Point in chronological order, number one, the fact that we got the development of the port brought forward the dual carriageway, and that in turn generated a more, uh, more economic activity in the town. Number two, you have the uh, very important direct employment. There are various figures bandied around, but uh, I would say that it certainly would be in excess of, of 300. And number three, and equally important, is the indirect benefits to the town. You have the emergence of a very viable and very big haulage industry here. Um, ships store here. Contractors work around the harbour. And I think you could maybe summarise it by saying you cannot spend £10 million plus in a small, comparatively small town of 6,500 of, of six and, and not, not get the economic benefits. What about the idea of a harbour-based culture developing out of all this? Well, we, we have always had uh, a partial harbour-based culture. I think the next development will be that you will see in the local technical college uh, classes in ships documentation, uh, export procedure and all that. In other words, we are returning in one point to what we were set up originally. This town came into being about the 18 and 20s as the outport for Newry. We have now superseded the, the, the uh, port of Newry and the tonnage has exceeded anybody's expectations. Warren Point handles one and a half million tonnes of freight a year. But its real significance lies in the fact that the port has secured a niche in the market, drawing its custom from the central corridor of Ireland. From here, roll-on, roll-off ferries run a daily service to England. Container ships ply regularly to the continental ports. And a new service linking France with Ireland and the Mersey is scheduled, which could help increase total freight to the two million ton mark. While Warren Point will never be either Belfast or Dublin, it's ideally located to fill a niche market serving to carry traffic from both north and south of the border to the European markets and beyond. Trade with the Republic is a significant factor in Warren Point's turnover. Uh, approximately 40% of our trade is with the Republic of Ireland, and I would think the common market, the, the one single market in 1992, will provide opportunities for that trade to be expanded. Warren Point is a small, flexible, cost-effective organisation. Uh, the question of development will be one of us continuing to provide the level of service which our customers are enjoying at the moment. And that is the combination vital to any successful operation. Flexibility and cost effectiveness. Two features that are essential to the future of a major service that could replace the defunct Liverpool boat.